All right, guys, Josh Thackeray here reporting from the lane. We've just beaten Sunderland 4-1. I've got a regular with me, regular Ramon. Um, Ramon, tell us, what did you make of that game compared to Wednesday? How was that? Um, it, yeah, it was good. Um, the first 41 minutes, I think um, Sam's big plan was working perfectly, um, frustrating us. We, it was important we got to go straight back because that half-time team talk, Sam probably would have just put 11 minutes, 10 minutes behind the ball. Um, what he missed as tricks, Big Sam, he went free at the back and that gave us a lot more space. And I don't, um, he brought on that big German and they were at six and sevens, uh, especially for Dembele goal. And then um, I think his name was Kirchhoff. And then he was the one who caused the deflection and <laughs> gave away the penalty. So um, usually Big Sam, masterful tactician, he went free at the back. It's freed up a lot of space for our, most of our guys. And um, we had four. And to be fair, man of the match was their goalkeeper. It's a third choice goalkeeper. And... Um, he made some stunning saves and I think it, it must have been, um, Pochettino must have said shoot on sight because we had 26 shots, 11 on target, but I've never seen us, we usually try and walk the uh, ball into the net and it was just like shoot on sight and um, we could have had seven or eight. I think that's a really good point. Our midfielders were taking shots, Ericsson in the first half, you know, Lamella had that chance to, to have a shot as well and I think that's been one of the features we've been missing over the last few games. We tried to walk it in or score the perfect goal or try and feed Kane but we need to be less predictable and take those long shots. So tell me, who was your, who was your man of the match? For me, always unsung hero, Eric Dyer. Setting in for us, Moussa Dembele just behind him, and Moussa Dembele is always the calming influence. He's there, he's our enforcer. No one's going to get past him, get the ball off him. But Eric Dyer, you watch him week in, week out. His level doesn't drop. We need to make sure that. I don't know what um, Pochettino seems to be hesitant against um, putting in Bentaleb to replace him because he's going to burn out. So we need to make sure we protect the kid because we've got big games coming up. We've got cup games. We've got the UEFA Cup starting in February. So um, we need to at least buy definitely a striker. Uh, if we can get Barry, you know, all well and done. I heard Charlie Austin went for four million to Southampton today. Bargain. Um, we need to get a central defender that's going to sit on the bench and cover for us because Pochettino's plan is if Jan or... Um, Toby gets injured, he's going to put die at the back. He's knackered, the kid. Yeah, the squad does yeah. look thin. And I think with a signing like um, uh, Austin, you know, how much resale value has he got? And I, I know Levy likes to buy young and, and have resale value. I think with the, we need to forget about resale value because the next six months is crucial. We need to get the Champions League. That's going to be important for us. So but once we get the Champions League, we can start attracting the players in the summer and that's going to be crucial and people are saying oh we need to put a play full strength side on Wednesday no sorry second strength side if we, even if we win the FA Cup and finish out the top four we're not going to attract anyone in summer we finished in Champions League we've got a massive stadium to build it was going to be a huge weight around our necks with we need to get Champions League by hook or crook okay so great great comments uh we have got a bright future Ed. are we going to make top four yes or no yes definitely top four we may even get top three if well, dare I say it, they're playing brilliantly at the moment with Leicester tail off, but I think we can finish behind uh, less, um, Man City and Arsenal. Fantastic. Thanks, Ramon. Let us know what you guys think of, of Ramon's comments below. Um, you didn't mention a signing you'd bring in. Can you tell me one name? I think Berahino. I think he he's gone with Berahino. We seem to be getting Berahino a lot. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Berahino, yes or no. Subscribe to the channel, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter.